if there's anything I desire for this country, is the country to be stable, secure, and provide the right environment for people to thrive, to do their business, to get along with all the things that they wish to do in an environment that is facilitative. That would be my desire. And I'm sure that's the desire of the millions of Kenyans. So Chachu, Ndwati, Kimari and the others, let me assure you that if the journey is to give Kenya a stable future, I will be there. We may have divergent views, we may have different opinions, but at the end of the day, let us persuade our neighbor through logic and not through force or intimidation or harassment. Let us persuade the people we want to live in this country and to help us be part of their leadership through logic. To attend na ukabila, to attend na intimidation, na pia to attend na uongo. Because we have a lot of work to do, even to resuscitate this economy. Uh, and I have to speak to it. Because I've been seeing in the media people keeping on talking about models, models, models. To resuscitate the Kenyan economy from where we are going into the future is not an academic exercise. You talk about models when you are in an economics class or you are in a chemistry class or you are somewhere and you are giving people stories about models. Let us be clear. We just need to focus on the challenges we have and then work on a policy position on each of those challenges and then work on the implementation to deal with that. Let's not talk about models. We are confusing people. Do we have a huge debt? Yes, we have a huge debt, public debt. Let's figure out how to deal with it. Do we have corruption still harassing us? Yes. Let us figure out how to put laws and to implement laws that are effective and deal with corruption. Do we have a problem with the cost of production in our country? Let us address it. Let us find out why it is cheaper to bring the egg from Uganda. And yet we have our own people here who rear chicken. Let us ask ourselves, why do you want to tax a beehive? Why? If a farmer in Muranga or in Baringo is keeping some bees, now you are bringing in a tax to go to a beehive. You know, there are some basic things that we just have to ask ourselves. Do we really need to go that far? Why should we have animal feeds costing more here and costing less in Uganda? That is why it's becoming difficult to compete with the Ugandans. What are we doing that is wrong? So it is not about models. It's about identifying, diagnosing the challenges, and then coming out with policies that will focus on those areas, and we can turn our country around. Nego kanatigu. Tutiganenama model. And we just work on the issues. So, Kimari, I have confidence uh, you and I and Dwati and Chacha, if we work together, we can get to the uttermost.